I really like Jackson Galaxy. He's into rock, tattoos, and animal behavior. Like me, we are exactly the same, only he has more hair on his chin and less hair on the top of his head, and I'm just the opposite. Yet, my hair is thinning and my beard is growing. Jackson gives great advice on his YouTube channel and his TV shows, but is it all good? Let's see some of it. You were telling me that when people come in, especially kids, right? She merely will hiss to the point where I'm not comfortable handling her. I guess I needed to visualize the kid's fear of the cat. But if I was a cat and I saw screaming kids, I would be scared and maybe aggressive to protect myself. There is a reason why kids are usually target for pets' aggression. But let's continue watching. That's, That's little. our littles. So we walk into the living room and from the look on Little's face, I'm starting to wish I had some protective gear of my own. That's one scared cat. And Jackson is already acknowledging that the cat is showing signs of fear. The cat is signaling the people to stay away or else. I'm just gonna be cool for a second. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is coming in. Why, Jackson? You already know that the cat is stressed, so what are you trying to check? If her nails are sharp, they are. Shh. Can I just touch it? No. Ow. Whoa. She's mad. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I had to see how long it would take for Littles to stop beating me up, so I kept pushing Littles' challenge line. Now, from the outside, that may look insane, Ow! but I had to understand the nature of her aggression. It is insane. Why? What Jackson Galaxy is doing is flooding. Basically, it's forcing the cat to deal with the stressor. But what will he gain by knowing how long the cat will continue to attack when provoked? Does it really matter if he does it for 5 seconds or 5 minutes? If a cat attacked and injured my kids for just 5 seconds, is it something that is more acceptable than 5 minutes? No, both should be addressed as soon as possible and surprise surprise, they are treated the same. The duration of the attack might affect the prognosis, but not the treatment. Littles was so threatened, she started turning upside down. Now that's telling me that she is expecting attack in such an amazing way that she's exposing her hind legs. Those hind legs are the most powerful thing they have. She meant business. Oh God. Are you okay? Yes, she did. So why do you continue? Also, you spent so much money on your awesome ink jobs. Why are you destroying them with cat scratches? If I can get her to eat out of my hands, man, I am a happy, happy guy. I'm waiting for that one little sign. Make a choice. I'm terrified right now. Me personally, I wouldn't try to feed the cat after that very bad interaction. I would actually start by trying to see if she will take treats first from people she might trust more and then from me. This is an important thing to know because if she is taking treats even when she's stressed, then we might be able to make her associate the trigger, a stranger in this case, and the treat. That is the basic counter conditioning. Now here's the interesting thing. You see how she looked out there first, before she took the food? As if to say, who's gonna take my food away from me? What goes on right here? Oh, that's where the neighbor cats come. So she'll follow the neighbor's cat from this window, make her path around to our bedroom window. Good catch. He's thinking about the neighbor's cat as another trigger for her aggression. This can be redirected aggression, meaning I can't get to that cat outside, so I will attack you. Or even arousal-based aggression, meaning she gets so aroused by that cat that she basically explodes with aggression. Cats are very territorial, so this is common. 
The owners will have to find a way to keep the outer cat away from her eyesight or find a way to keep her from the windows. Or both. Okay, so the homework. Yeah. For the minute we did the sight blockers positive. and the sprinklers and the positive. toy, the redirection of energy. Very positive. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. Nice. So they did side blockers to keep her away from being able to see everything. They used sprinklers to keep the neighbor's cat away from the yard, but without hurting him. And they used redirection to keep their cat calm and doing something appropriate instead of attacking. Good job. What? <laughs> that was a big surprise. They threw a dinner party and Littles was a part of the party, observing people in a very relaxed, comfortable, confident way. I mean, come on. Come on. This is also noise. They added these shelves around the house that allow the cat to be in a safe location that lets her observe everyone from above and avoid them if needed. I gave these guys the tools so that they could do it. This is why I do what I do. Little's life is worth something. Every cat's life is... <sighs> Every cat's life is worth something. I love happy endings, don't you? But this is not the end because you can also continue enjoying my face and my reviews of other animal behavior professionals in this video.